the beating of a drum, the ticking of a clock. As humans, we are always keeping time. And despite all the challenges in our lives, we always manage to keep the tempo. soldiers being needed elsewhere. We couldn't catch much more. You know how my German is. What? Hmm. Finally something done about that ruckus the folks at the cul-de-sac have been putting on. I can't believe they're even allowed to walk the streets anymore. They should just shut up before they put us all in danger. How could you say that? After all that's happened? If one of them got taken away... It's not that big a deal. Don't you have a performance to be getting ready? or something. The performance tonight is probably canceled now that they are here. And who knows when they'll give us a free night again. They never lift these temporary restrictions. Oh, you think you're so smart, don't you? No, I just... Like the performance is that important anyways. It was just a big distraction. Enough. Come on, let's get you in bed. We're going to turn the lights off. I don't need to be tucked in. I'm not going to tuck you in. The folks at the uh, performance hall are in agreement with me. They've recently acquired a machine which allows them to record some of their performances. The world needs to hear your music, honey. Even now, even if we have to do it in secret. But everything is all set up. You just need to sneak in the back door like you told me about. I want to go more than anything, but the soldiers. You've never been afraid of the soldiers before. No, come on, I believe in you. But father, father finds out. I'll take care of that thick-skulled idiot. He may be dismissive of you, but he really does care. Anyway, you better get going. I believe in you. Thanks, Mom. To walk home at the end of the day, please begin to walk home now. I'll tell your parents to call the main office once you arrive. Everyone else can be doing an evacuation drill. Line up in two lines at the door and follow me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but can't we just get to having school? I know, right? We go to school to practice safety drills all day, then get sent home before lunch. Come on, let's get going. I'm home. Judge, get over here, quickly. You want to hear this. Call him soon to call him now that I'm home. Just get over here. I'll call him soon. Public service announcement. Due to recent events, everyone is advised to pack an emergency bag of necessities. It's ready to go at a moment's notice. The dispatch is saying that we are at high risk for a strike. We have to be ready to go. Come on, let's go. Bring your bags out to the car. The basement of the office building downstairs is marked as a shelter. Um, relax, I'm just checking the news, I'll get it back. Sirens. All clear. No retaliation. And time! Two minutes. You got ten more in. 
Dang, this handy little thing is really keeping me motivated. What are you even listening to? Just an old tune. And so, the world of here is a good time and bad. Both music and humans have been resilient. We keep the tempo. Because no matter what. Library. 
That staff is no ordinary staff, nor even just a powerful magical staff. The note was from the author of the story themselves. That staff, a representation of the pen the author used to write this story. Now that your sister has it, she will probably be so overwhelmed with power that she'll rewrite everything. Oh no! Shortly after, our current queen rose, using her newfound powers to destroy the castle, plunging the realm into darkness, rewriting the entire story. As for the rest, well, you all know as much as I do. Why tell this story if it's so dangerous? No beat is ever stopped, no hero is ever forgotten, no story is ever untold. So long as it remains inside the mind of just one person. It's been four months since my heart attack. 
Since then, I can probably count the amount of times I've left the hospital on one hand. Four months is a pretty long time when you're left alone with your thoughts. So I've had plenty of time to come to terms with my situation. Arrhythmia. A strange word. A foreign, alien one. When you don't want to be in the same room with. A rare condition. It causes the heart to act erratically and occasionally beat way too fast. It can be fatal. Apparently, I've had it for a long time. The doctors said it was a miracle that I was able to go on for so long without anything happening. Is that really a miracle? I guess it was supposed to make me feel better and more appreciative of my life. you're enjoying the show. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb, I just... It's all right. Music's meant to be heard, after all. Did you enjoy it? Your playing was quite soothing. Every note was perfectly on beat, and you didn't even make mistakes. The melody was strong and powerful, but not overwhelming. It was beautiful. I'm glad you liked it. Do you have a name? Uh, yes, I'm Jamie. Elijah. Do you play the piano or any instrument? I used to play when I was younger, but now I dance. Or I did until I. Uh... Ah. You enjoy dancing, I assume. Well, there are always other ways to dance. What do you mean? I mean, look at me. I wasn't always blind, yet I still play. But how? The doctor said I can't do anything strenuous. And you don't have to. Here, 
Give it a try. It's all right. You can do it. Here goes nothing. That was actually pretty good. It's okay to make mistakes. But with what I have, I'll never be perfect again. Hey, it was never about perfection. You think you need to say? You said I didn't make any mistakes. Well, that's not exactly true. I made many mistakes, but you didn't notice because I kept on going as if nothing happened. You what? Music and dancing isn't just about keeping your body or instrument to the rhythm. It's about your heart. It's about keeping on the flow and knowing that no matter what happens, your heart will still keep beating to the rhythm. See you around, Jamie. All right, so today we are doing more with quotient rule, and that's when we have some sort of a rational function that's a fraction, polynomial over a polynomial. If we want to do a derivative for that, our formula looks like uh, the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So if we practice with that, um, let's say we have the function f of x equals 2x minus 1 all over x squared. And we want to take the derivative. So let's, let's see what happens. We take the bottom, x squared, times the derivative of the top, which is 2 minus the top, 2x minus 1, times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 2x. And then on our denominator, we take the original denominator and square it. Uh, Jenny, do you know what that would be? Uh, 2x? No, that's wrong. Jane, do you know? Um, is it x to the fourth? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we'll have x to the fourth on the bottom. And then we just have to simplify a bit on the top. We have negative 2x squared um, minus the quantity 4x squared minus 2x. We distribute the negative, combine some stuff, we'll end up with negative 2x squared plus 2x all over x to the fourth. Uh, we can do a little bit more simplifying, but that's about it. Nice work.
a moment, very much like the one between lightning and its sound, the children just stared at me. Then it came, a flurry, a hailstorm of answers. Flower. No, book. That's stupid. The opposite of a gun is a pillow. Or maybe a hug, but... No way is it a book. With this, the others gathered their thoughts, and suddenly it was a shouting match. It's a song. A prayer, I mean, a promise, like a wedding ring. Or a baby, or what's that person who delivers babies? A midwife? Yes, that's... No, that's wrong. You're so wrong, you'll never be right again. It's a whisper, or... Or a star. Or someone saying, I love you, into your hand, and then touching someone's ear. Are you crazy? Are the you- The president of stupid land? You should be. When's the election? <laughs> it's a teddy bear. A sword. A perfect, perfect peach. Go back to the first one. It's a flower. A white rose. No, it's- When the bell rang, I reached for an eraser, but a girl snatched it from my hand. Nothing's decided yet. We're not done here. The next day, they taken sides. There was the flower club, and the kitten club, and two boys calling themselves the snowballs. The rest had stuck with the original game, which was to try to write something like poetry. It's a diamond. It's a dance. The opposite of a gun is a museum in France. It's the moon. It's the mirror. It's the sound of the bell and the cure. With this, the argument started again. More shouting. And finally, a new club. For the first time, I dared to push them. Hey, hey, maybe all of you are right. How does that even Well, maybe it's everything we said. Maybe it's everything we didn't say. It's words and the spaces for words. They were looking at each other. It's everything in this room, and outside this room, and down the street, and in the sky. It's everyone on campus, and at the mall, and all the people waiting at the hospital, and at the post office. And yeah, it's a flower, too. All the flowers, the whole garden. The opposite of a gun is wherever you point it. Don't write that on the board, they say. Just write poem.
<laughs> After all that's happened, some of the strangest things always seem to survive and turn up on the surface. September 13th, 2066. Quarantine. T minus three months. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken. For dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. Genesis, chapter 3, verse 19. Ash to ash, dust to dust. Three months of quarantine, five days of evacuation. 2.3 minutes until Congress noticed. I wonder how long it took the president to press the button. After 121 years, who would have thought? Nuclear war and nuclear winter. Here we are. We still don't know if the clouds from the explosions have settled yet, but that's all, all of the birds, at least the flying ones, have basically been wiped out. That's not actually something we could wager on. We don't have any money anymore. Everything's been rationed out. And going outside isn't a possibility anymore. Not after John came back. I wonder if there are any animals left, except maybe cockroaches. The Telegraph said that the smoke wasn't going to disappear for another five years, at least while the Fed's vacuum up all the fallout. It's supposed to be super cold, too, and all the clouds black out almost all the sunlight. It's practically night all the time, except with no visible moon and stars. Anyway, it's about time for supper. I have to dig for an hour after that, though, so I'm not going to waste this page based on dirt. Still have so far to go. It's funny. After all that's happened, it's still the same. According to the Bible, we started from ash and dust, and now we're buried in it. April 7th, 2081. When the smoke cleared and the fire settled, a bird rose out of the ashes, a phoenix soaring into the sky. Not like you'll ever receive this, but I found your journal and I felt compelled to write a reply for the future. I'll admit, after all this time, not everything's back to normal. The world is still picking itself up 10 years later, and I wonder if you ever knew that the nuclear war ended in a stalemate. No victor, just too tired to keep on fighting. But last night the sky was clear, and I saw stars. These glimmers of light in the night, remnants of prayers and hopes far away, still waiting patiently after all that's happened. It might be impossible for you to see, and well, it's, it's hard for me too, but I think someday we'll come out of this and smile. Call me naive or doomed by ideals, but some way or another, we'll be like that phoenix, out of the cycle of ashes and death, born again. Well, this is kind of random, but I picked up baking recently. And I guess I'll write too soon after I read your next entry. November 24th, 2066 quarantine, approximately T minus five months. She's gotten sick again. They think it might be radiation poisoning because of the coughing, but I don't think they don't have to dig anymore. But it's not like we ever really had a choice in the first place. The extra time is both a blessing and a disguise. Yesterday, I ran for a thousand counts in a row. I can't count the distances anymore. I have a watch, but I'm trying to save the battery because I don't know when I'll be able to get a new one. I used to run every day, but back when I took fresh air for granted. I got such weird tans on my arms and legs from shirts and shorts. I'd kill for a dose of sunlight now, or a bird song. I taught Nell how to whistle, and we did it for probably an hour until some feds stopped us. They keep telling us that skin cancer rates are rapidly decreasing, but no one dies of peanut allergies anymore. And even people with some kind of disabilities and are having a higher quality of life with all the noise and stimulation on the surface and everything. It's not really fair, though. I've never met someone down here with skin cancer or peanut allergies or sensory disorders, so I don't know. There aren't rich or poor anymore, just rations and people trying to survive. Would that make us communist? <laughs> There's not much down here to own, though, and what we have goes to the feds. Like the digging equipment that we need to go deeper. Everything's regulated and rationed out by a computer system and drones because human judgment can't be trusted anymore. Are the trenches really to prepare us for another nuclear strike? Why do we need trenches underground? 
I never read anything about nuclear theory before the Great Descent, but now I don't even know what's going on anymore. April 8th, 2081. Hey, it's me again. It doesn't look like you're doing so well, are you? You must be hell down there. Whoever she is, I hope she will get better, or, or got better. Writing to someone from the past, well, makes a real load of sense. <laughs> At least you had time to do some running. It's good to establish a routine. You know, you can get back some sense of normalcy. That's what helped me survive, anyway. So, I guess I'll talk about what life is like up here on the surface. You can still see the destroyed buildings. There are piles of debris and stuff everywhere. That's how I found your journal, anyway. A lot of us had to dig through it to see if we could find anything useful to rebuild what life used to be like before the Great Descent. Even now, we're still digging, but I guess we actually find what we're looking for. I wonder if you ever did. I wish you could have seen how so much has gotten better. The air's finally clean. You can walk around outside without a respirator, and you don't have to worry about getting sick. And it is nice to just sit outside and enjoy a homemade muffin in the morning. <laughs> well, it's quiet up here, and the sun shines down beautifully. There aren't any more of those black clouds. I guess what I'm trying to say is things get better. Just, just trust me, okay? I'll write to you again soon. Evacu Evacuation one, T minus months. The feds own more than our time now. I got my tag young number yesterday. I'm two inches shorter than when I went in. No idea how that happened. Digging stopped because the Alcatraz tunnel collapsed and killed 20 people. News got out from the composters when they noticed that the soil texture changed or something. The government's They've been reaping bodies for radiation material and whatever, and then I don't want to think about it. What can we do? It's, 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 it's starving to death. Taking in this underground city. This is hell. They're absolute monsters. You're wrong about us being monsters. Don't lose hope. January 4th, 2067. Quarantine. T-minus seven months. So I just didn't say anything at all. So I didn't. I don't remember the last time I spoke to someone. It's like people don't realize I'm not sick. I, you can't get it from someone else, even if they were close. Evacuation. Two. T-minus three months. I used to start every one of these entries with some sort of salutation, maybe, hi, how are you, or dear journal. Now it just feels pointless. Who am I even talking to? I swear, the only way anyone's ever going to get in here is over my dead body. Well, Bessie would tell me I'm being morbid. Although, at the rate of the radiation poisoning is going to Anyway, Mel said that all the historians are already trying to wage the war for our internet and books and everything. There's a part of me that wonders if I'm supposed to be recounting the horrors of the war, or whatever, for future generations to learn their lesson. I used to read a lot, and now it's so dark, and my eyes have gotten so used to it that I can't see very well anymore. And there's dust everywhere. It's like it's in my eyes, and the cracks between my fingers, and it's probably even clogging up my brain. I wonder if the historians will even be able to read this mess. I might as well be writing with my eyes closed. Sunlight rations are tight, supposedly. Well, I'm rambling, or I at least I would be if I was still talking. I wonder what mom would have called it back then. I used to be loud, steamrolling. <laughs> That's what she called it. I would go on and on, like I had a library of words at my fingertips. Past tense hurts, but now it says, well, said that the truth keeps us grounded. Would you prefer to say? Now it's gone, and at the rate we're moving, we're probably at least 100 feet below her now. Evacuation.
calculation. T minus one year. I'm 18 now. I know that because today was the annual reaping. Just to feel good, you know. I have to break power cells again today. Normally it feels good to, you know, break things, but uh, I just, I can't seem to feel anything now. Last year I could actually see the pieces. Bits of broken glass glittering like stars in the night. But it's something so broken, so beautiful. I remember mom's bird feeder that I broke when I was little or one of her wine glasses. A broken windshield, shards of memories, heart of glass. I'm a terrible poet. We forget what we look like down here. The reaping, the mirror shards, were supposed to be a reminder. I guess those memories are lost forever now. Evacuation. T minus. We descended another 50 feet. I had to steal a pencil from the warehouse because mine broke. Or maybe someone else stole it. It doesn't matter. I have one now, and I was trying to make me go and stop it here at all. Yes. You know how I said I surrendered over my dead body? I can't even. stuff in here. I came back to the burrow and everything was burned, but I still dug a hole under where I slept. And this journal was still there. I guess becoming a kleptomaniac was worth it in the end. The dirt has wormed its way under my skin. A little water won't be able to clean my hands. I can't remember who said that. Feeling is an official sin now. In another life, I think I still believed in, well, I don't know what it is now. Religion fell apart and so many believers refused to go under, and there's not really a following down here anymore. I guess you realize it's hard to believe in heaven with just 200 lumens a day. I wonder if God can even see us all the way down here. Transport high, left, beta, gamma, six. May 7th, 2081. T minus. Hey, it's been a while. Man, your story was dramatic. I know it was dramatic. Going out with a bang, down with the federal factory, down with the tunnel of the trenches. Or, I guess it's not really down, is it? They call it blowing something up for a reason. <laughs> yeah, blowing something down doesn't really have much of a ring to it, eh? Anyway, I wonder where you are. Did you ever make it back to the surface? Anyway, I can't promise I'll be there. I wish I was there writing, but I'm sorry I couldn't write anything to you while all that was happening. I wish I did. There's so much I wanted to say, but anyway, I hope maybe this is enough. This alone can bring you back to the surface with me, out of hell and into humanity. Remember what it feels like to be human. Your skin must be so young, your eyes must be so bright. You still are human, no matter what's happened or what you've done. I'd still like to believe that. I've forgotten what we really looked like, what the world above was. They started slowly with these six amendments, the ones that were supposed to make us fight harder gave me sunlight again, and then they took it away. I saw Mom again, and Riley, and she was, I can't explain it. They were really there, but I don't know. I guess the simulation broke, and they took me back, and I said something got burned from the exposure. I don't know. It takes too much work to dissect the pain. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more for you, but this is not the end. Heroism is just a sick joke, isn't it? You weren't supposed to go running in there like that, but you did. And well, look at me now. I saw you in the bright room too, but I think you were really there. Good job. I guess you finally redeemed yourself. Now, 
the dust you return. Heroism isn't a joke. You can say that fighting for ideals only saves ideals all you want, but it isn't true. Heroism is what saved us. It's what you were searching for. I think I still have both my eyes, but I'd still be able to see the birds without them. Regardless, I can't change the past, not even for you. But this is what I can tell you. I heard my first bird song today, just like you said. There still are birds, and there are flowers, and there are trees. And even if the darkness has swallowed you, the sun still shines. I will be here to witness it for you. Like a phoenix out of the ashes. I'm never going to get my heart back. Even with the heart of black, the pieces are still beautiful. I'm getting my nerves turned off soon. I don't know for how long. It's going to be OK. I watch the sky every night. I heard a myth about these places called galaxies, and they're huge, bigger than the Earth even, and they're made out of something called stardust. And when our own galaxy collapses, it's the dust we all return. I'm sorry this is all I have left to give you. Maybe that's enough.
standing still without sight.